Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at more Am I Wrong stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. My son is Indian and his friend who is white are both nine. My son brought his friend over after school on the bus. I messaged his mum and asked if this was okay and how late he was staying. She asked if he could stay until 10. I served dinner around 8 so he would be eating with us. I cook a lot of Indian cuisine in my house because that's what I grew up making. My son told me his friend was picky and asked if I could make him something else. I keep fries and chicken nuggets for when my son has picky friends over. So we all sit to eat and my son's friend seems happy with the nuggets and they go to play after dinner. The boy's mum picks him up a little after 9. I get a text later asking why I fed her son frozen food when I cooked a fresh dinner for everyone else. I told her my son said the boy wouldn't eat what I was making. She said I should have made him something also instead of just getting freezer food. I told her I provided free childcare without notice and her kid chose not to eat what everyone else ate. I continued that when I was a child, my mum didn't offer anyone alternatives to what was made so he's lucky I accommodated him. She told me she wouldn't let her son stay with me anymore. Good. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty sure the mum was like, good, I don't even want your son over here, honestly. <laughs> Jeez, what? If you're so concerned about what your son eats one day for dinner, then you should have cooked him dinner. You should have sent the dinner over there then. Oh my gosh, I don't think this person was wrong for giving the son nuggets. Like, even the son was happy with nuggets. Like, it's not gonna do anything if you eat frozen food for one day. It's only one out of three meals for one day, dude. You don't have to like overreact like that. Sometimes frozen meals are all that works for people. And nowadays frozen food ain't even like that bad anymore. It's just convenient. Honestly, if your kid was happy with it, I don't get why she has to be like so upset over it. Unless the kid is crying and being like, oh my God, they didn't let me eat their food. And then I would be mad. But the kid just chose not to eat what everyone else ate as that person said. So what? Do you want your kid to starve or do you want them to eat a frozen meal that they enjoyed eating? Jeez, man, I kind of feel bad for the kid. Now he's not allowed to hang out with this kid anymore because this happened. All right, next story. So I was having a horrible toothache. I'd taken medication to ease pain, but it was bad. Like you need to go to the dentist level of bad. I scheduled an appointment and was told to come yesterday. My husband's best friend, Terry, got into an accident and injured his knee. He has been staying with us for several weeks. My husband looks after him as he sees him living alone and in need of assistance. I welcomed him to our home, but found myself having to clean up after him and bring him his medication and also cook for him. And if I take a long time to get something done, he'd call my husband and basically tell on me, which makes my husband mad. What? What? Mad at the wife? Excuse me. <laughs> Dude. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. You haven't read the entire story yet, Ellen. Calm down. He says it's temporary and also since I'm home 24-7 and he is working, then I should help care for his friend. It has become quite overwhelming because now I can't leave the house if my husband isn't there with his friend. What, so she's babysitting the husband's friend? Like I stated previously about the dental appointment, I told my husband the night before and he pitched a hissy fit saying I can't leave Terry home alone. I suggested he take time off work and stay with him, but he said it wouldn't work with such a short notice. He suggested that I reschedule, but I said no, even showed him how bad the swelling was, yet he told me to hold on for another day. I'd be mad. I'd be so mad. I'll be so mad. I'll be so mad. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. You're caring about your friend more than you're caring about the well-being of your wife? She's having tooth pain right now. Do you know how bad that feels? Ah, you've never had tooth pain before, huh? Let me punch you in the teeth right now. <laughs> Why is he treating as if Terry can't be home alone? What the? Terry's not five years old. <laughs> Terry. He went to work early and I decided I was still going to go. Terry was in the living room. He sleeps on a large mattress in the living room and saw me making my way out as mum was waiting at the door. He asked where I was going and I told him to the dental appointment. He had an attitude and raised his voice at me telling me to go back upstairs and cancel. Mum stepped in and started arguing with him and asking who he thinks he is. He went on about how he was unable to move and then threatened to call my husband if I stepped a foot out the door. 
I took my mum and left. He ended up calling my husband, who then tried to call me over and over for two hours till I turned my phone off. Instead of returning home, I went to stay with my mum because I was in tremendous pain and my husband started yelling at me, calling me stubborn for still going after he told me to reschedule and irresponsible for leaving his injured friend home alone. Mum told him off which escalated the argument between us. He is now currently staying at home along with his friend while constantly pressuring me to stop hiding behind mum and come deal with the results of having him leave his job for hours after I blindsided him and went against his wishes. I'm so confused. Who's the wife right now? <laughs> Honestly, who the heck's the wife? What the heck? Why is Terry acting like that though? I, 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 <laughs> I can't believe it. If I was the guest at someone else's place and they were taking care of me, I would be so humble and so careful to not try to piss off anyone, okay? Because I don't want to get kicked out. Like, I don't want to cause trouble between people. Terry is just trying to make them fight. Terry, what the heck? <laughs> Honestly, I think at this point, if I realize my husband cared about his friend more than my well-being and he's going to get that mad over something that's not even supposed to be that bad, I would have been done, you know? I would have been like, okay, I've had enough. If you care about your friend way more than you care about me as your wife, it's over. I'm done. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you do this to me? How dare you? The husband and Terry should just live together forever then. Huh? Why would you marry someone if you care about your best friend more than your wife? Your best friend is supposed to be a supportive friend, not sabotaging your marriage life, okay? <laughs> Jeez. Freaking hell, telling on her for going to the dental appointment when she's in so much pain. Wow. Yeah. This would have done it for me. All right, next story. My friend Grace invited me to a board game bar to play and have drinks with her, her boyfriend, and one of their friends, Nick. We went to get drinks in pairs, Grace going with her boyfriend. Meanwhile, Nick and I stayed at the table and vice versa. So Nick and I had plenty of time to talk, just the two of us. Nick started the night by telling about his recent career change. He decided to quit his previous job, go to a coding boot camp, and he got a job as a developer one or two months ago. He was very proud of himself and his new salary and told me this multiple times. He never asked me what I do for work, but talked about his new job quite a lot, occasionally saying, sorry, you don't understand that, haha. <laughs> During the entire evening, I never told him I have been working as a software engineer for the past four years because he never asked and honestly, I found it a bit entertaining. Wow. Wow. How the tables have turned. <laughs> Look at him. Sorry, you don't understand. When it came to the drinks, he invited me to every single one. Don't worry about it. It's not a problem with my developer salary. <laughs> I told him multiple times he doesn't have to pay for me, but he insisted. Oh my gosh, that's such a turn off. It's okay, with my salary as a developer, I could totally get this for you because I'm a developer. Interesting. At the end of the night, when we were saying our goodbyes, he took out his phone to send me a friend request on Facebook. My job is listed in my profile. So that was when he realized that I'm a software engineer. He asked me if it's true that I'm a software engineer and I answered yes. He asked me why I haven't told him. Why did I let him believe I was a cashier like Grace used to be? I never imply that. And why did I let him pay for everything when I probably earn more than him? I told him that he never asked once and it was his fault he assumed. He could have simply asked me about my job, but he only wanted to brag about his. But if he wants me to, I can pay him back for the drinks. He was angry and said I made a fool out of him. I think he did that, not me. But now Grace and her boyfriend are on his side too, saying that it would have cost me nothing to tell him early in the evening and I only kept it for myself and my own entertainment. Well, I did find it entertaining, but I don't really feel like I did anything wrong. She didn't do anything wrong. What? The guy was just showing off and he was just more interested in himself than her, you know? He wanted to impress her so bad. That's why he talked about his salary and kept buying her drinks. But now that he finds out, 
She's making way more than him. He gets angry. And honestly, I feel like if she did tell him, he would have been like, oh, so you think you're better than me, huh? You really can't win. There's no winning. With these kind of people, there's no winning. That's already a red flag if he gets mad over that. It's a green flag if he's like, oh, you're a software engineer. Holy shit, that's amazing. Nah, but he had to be salty about it. And honestly, they made a fool out of themselves for talking so much. <laughs> no one asked you. Interesting people out there. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.